CME Info's continuing education and board certification programs bring the conference to you. The following is a video sample from the University of California, San Francisco School of Medicine's Cardiovascular and Pulmonary Imaging. This excerpt is from course director, Dr. Brett Elliker's lecture titled, Coronary CT Angiography, Case-Based Introduction. This is the most unbelievable case. Charlie will remember this. Is the case is, it's a great history. History was dizziness and sinus congestion. I can't, I, I can't make this stuff up. Young, relatively young person, dizziness and sinus, nothing related to the heart. And had an abnormal EKG, but a normal echo, and then had VTAC on a Holter monitor. So had significant cardiac abnormalities, but symptoms that really, it was hard to, I mean, maybe dizziness, sort of syncope or something, but it's hard to sort of tie those together. And this is the patient's coronary artery, coronary CTA. Discrepancy between uh, pretest probability based on age and lack of risk factors and objective data that there is real disease that could be attributable to coronary artery disease. And the abnormality, you know, this sort of a, this, this wasn't this case, but there's another case where, where Rick actually was reading out a PE study on one of these patients. And um, you know, Rick's mainly a lung imager. He said he was reading out the case with the resident. And he says, you know, I've been doing this for 30 years, and it's rare I, have, I look at a case and I have absolutely no clue what's going on. And it turned out like the whole clinical team that was wanted to look at the case had sort of snuck in behind Rick and had heard this whole conversation. Always, in, you know, there's a lot of confidence that's always instilled when you say things like that in front of the whole clinical team. But it's a very striking case. You don't see this very much. When, and what do you notice? There's massive dilatation of the coronary arteries. In fact, it involves both the right and the left system. And so what, what are you thinking about in those cases? Fistulas, you know, fistulas often involve it may cause dilatation of the right or the left. It's unusual to cause dilatation of both sides, both systems. So it would be unusual to be both the right and the left. So I'd be thinking about things like vasculitis or connective tissue disease. Those would be the big ones. In Kawasaki's, again, most of the other, these other things, with the exception of this one, give you sort of focal abnormalities, either focal aneurysms or involvement of the right system or the left system, but really not generalized dilatation of the coronary artery system. So mainly I'd be thinking about these first two and maybe anomalous origin of the left coronary artery from the pulmonary artery. It's a rare entity, but again, maybe one of those things that's somewhat under-recognized, even though it is a rare entity, similar to anomalous coronary arteries, although rarer than that. Uh, and, uh, you know, rarely presents in old, older patients. And this is an image at a slightly different level. And what you notice is that there's the right coronary artery, again, massively dilated. And then there's the left coronary artery. And the left coronary artery, in this case, originates from the pulmonary artery. So the problem, these patients, when they're in infancy, if they present in infancy, often they present because this system is uh, hypoxic. You know, they're getting pulmonary artery flow to the LAD and circumflex territory. As they get older, you develop these very large collaterals that occur between the right and the left systems. And when those collaterals developed, all of a sudden this side, the left side, which previously was a low pressure system, becomes a high pressure system because now it's getting it's seeing systemic pressures through the right coronary and the collaterals. And what happens is, and you can sort of appreciate that a bit, is that the flow reverses in the left system and starts to go into the pulmonary artery, and that's called the steel phenomenon. There's another, a nice volume rendered image just showing you the origin of the right and the left sort of coming off the side of the pulmonary artery. Top quality board certification reviews and continuing education programs, guaranteed. For more information about this self-study activity, go to www.cmeinfo.com 762V or call us at 1-800-284-8433.